यूकैरियोटिक जीनोम्स यूकैरियोटिक जीनोम्स आर लोकेटेड ऑन सेवरल क्रोमोसोम्स इन केस ऑफ यू कैरियोटिक जीनोम्स देयर इज रेलेटिवली लो जीन डेंसिटी इन एडिशन टू न्यूक्लियर डी एन ए इन केस ऑफ यू कैरियोट्स देयर इज ऑल्सो जीनोम विच इज कॉल्ड एज ऑर्गेनल जीनोम्स ऑर्गेनल जीनोम्स कैन बी इन द फॉर्म ऑफ माइट्रोकॉन्डियल जीनोम और इन द फॉर्म ऑफ क्लोरोप्लास जीनोम सो इन केस ऑफ यू कैरियोट्स वी कैन सी डेट देयर आर there is nuclear genome which is present in the nucleus while in addition to nuclear genome there is also organelle genome that can be in the form of mitochondria and that can be in the form of chloroplast eukaryotic genome con contains repetitive sequence most of the DNA or the genome of the eukaryotes is repetitive in nature. So repetitive DNA can be in the form of signs, which are called as short interspersed elements, and it can be in the form of lines, which are called as long interspersed sequences. If we try to differentiate between lines and signs. lines they are actually 1 to 5 kb in length and their copy number can be from 10 up to 10000 while in case of signs the uh, the size of the signs can be 200 base pair up to 300 base pair and their copy number can be up to 100000 highly repetitive dna sequence which is present in the eukaryotic genomes that can be of different types it can be mini satellite it can be micro satellite and it can be present at the telomeres mini satellite repeats of 15 to 500 base pair if the repet repetitive sequence repetitive dna is between 14 up to 500 base pair it is called as mini satellite dna it can be from 1 up to 5 kb long and it is usually scattered throughout the genome on the other hand micro satellites are uh, repeats up to 13 base pair micro satellites can be in the form of um, single nucleotide repetition of single nucleotide dinucleotide trinucleotide tetranucleotide and so on so if there is repetition of single nucleotide or dinucleotide trinucleotide then they are called as microsatellites repetitive sequence in case of eukaryotic genome is also present at the telomeres in case of telomeres there are short repeats up to 600 base pair and they are from a uh, 2 to 50 up to 1000 at the ends of the chromosome this is the detail of the elements or the eukaryotic genome which is present in different eukaryotic genomes we can see that in case of eukaryotic genomes chromosomes they can be linear there is centromere in the middle of the chromosomes then there are telomeres at the ends of the chromosome in the chromosomes there is origin of replication and there are replicons in case of eukaryotic genomes there are protein coding genes and spliceosomal introns genes for non coding RNAs are also present on the genomes of the eukaryotes those RNA coding genes they are genes for ribosomal RNA for transfer RNA for SNO RNA for snRNA and for micro RNAs so genes for different types of the RNAs they are present on the eukaryotic genomes in addition to these genes there are also present mobile genetic elements 
they are the they are also the part of the eukaryotic genomes in eukaryotic genomes there are also pseudo genes as well as processed pseudo genes on the eukaryotic genome there are satellite dna satellite dna can be in the form of microsatellites it can be in the form of mini satellites and it can be in the form of repeated sequences so on in case of eukaryotic genome we also see that there are fragments of organelle dnas this is just one of the example of the comparison of two different genomes one of the genome is of homo sapien and the second genome is of a yeast in case of homo sapien we see that there are approximately 23000 genes which are present on the genome of the humans while in case of yeast there are approximately 6000 genes which are present on the genome of the yeast so here is the percentage of the coding exons in case of yeast we see most of the genome is coding in nature while there is there is a less number of introns which are marked with a red color then mobile elements and the other genes while on the other hand in case of eukaryotic in case of human genome we see that the coding dna is very less we can see here while this is the uh, representation or the percentage of the introns and uh, pseudo genes or the uti regions which are present in the genome of the humans and these are the mobile elements mean those dna that move from one location to an other location so all other genes they are represented by green color so this is the comparison between two genomes one of the genome is of a yeast which is a eukaryote and the other genome is of humans which is also eukaryote in case of humans we see that most part of the genome is non coding just 1.5 up to 2% of the genome is coding while the remaining genome is non coding while in case of a yeast most part of the genome is coding this is the comparison between the prokaryotic genome and the eukaryotic genome in case of prokaryotic genome usually it is circular and small in size it is found in the nucleoid region and less elaborately structured and folded while on the other hand the genome of the eukaryotes it is complex it is large in size and the large amount of protein are produced to form the chromatin or the structure of the chromosomes it is highly extended and tangled during the interphase and it is found in the nucleus so this is the comparison between the genome of the prokaryotes and the genome of the eukaryotes if we conclude that what is eukaryotic genomes you can in case of eukaryotes the genome is located in the form of chromosomes or it is present in the form of chromosomes within the nucleus uh, in case of eukaryotes there is a low gene density and chromosomes their size vary some of the chromosomes they are large and some of the chromosomes they are small in addition to nuclear genome which is present within the nucleus there are also organel genome that is in the form of uh, mitochondria or in the form of chloroplast